Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the Boeing TX sees the light, Blue Origin unveils its proposed heavy lift rockets, Piper receives a production certificate for their M600. I'm Brie Cross, it's September 15th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Boeing has thrown its hat into the ring to compete for a contract to provide the Air Force with its new advanced trainer airplane. Actually, it could be said they threw two hats into the ring. Boeing and its partner Saab AB will use their two production TX aircraft revealed earlier this week to show the U.S. Air Force the performance, affordability, and maintainability advantages of their approach. Boeing TX is an all-new aircraft designed specifically for the U.S. Air Force training mission. Boeing says their design takes advantage of the latest technologies, tools, and manufacturing techniques. It is an advantage aircraft designed to evolve as technologies, missions, and training needs change. The Boeing TX aircraft has one engine, two tails, stadium seating, and an advanced cockpit with embedded training. Boeing says their system also offers state-of-the-art ground-based training and a maintenance-friendly design for long-term supportability. TX is being offered in the competition to replace the Air Force's aging T-38 aircraft. The initial operating capability is planned for 2024. Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos has unveiled plans for his next space launch system, and it's planned to be a major player in the spaceflight business. Named in honor of John Glenn, the first American to orbit Earth, Blue Origin's new rocket, named New Glenn, is 23 feet in diameter and lifts off with 3.85 million pounds of thrust from seven BE-4 engines. Burning liquefied natural gas and liquid oxygen, these are the same BE-4 engines that will power United Launch Alliance's new Vulcan rocket. The Stage 2 New Glenn is 270 feet tall, and its second stage is powered by a single vacuum optimized BE-4 engine. The even larger three-stage version of the New Glenn is 313 feet tall. Bezos said in part, quote, We plan to fly New Glenn for the first time before the end of this decade from historic Launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral, Florida. New Glenn is designed to launch commercial satellites and to fly humans into space. The three-stage variant, with its high-specific impulse hydrogen upper stage, is capable of flying demanding beyond low-Earth orbit missions. After the break, the M600 production certificate is a milestone for Piper. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Piper Aircraft has been granted a production certificate for its new advanced single-engine M600 turboprop by the FAA. The certificate was presented to the company earlier this month at its Vero Beach, Florida headquarters. Simon Cattlecott, Piper Aircraft president and CEO, said, quote, Being granted the production certificate is the latest in a series of significant milestones for this innovative aircraft. In June, we received the type certificate for the M600, an aircraft which promises to redefine comfort and convenience. On July 12, 2016, our launch customers Jerry and Jack Wardlaw, veteran Piper owners, took delivery of the very first M600 off the production line. The production certification grants Piper the authorization to produce, flight test, and issue airworthiness certificates for the M600. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update. But this week, rather than talk about an individual partner, we're letting all our partners and followers of the Aero News and Airborne Unlimited know about our intent to expand Airborne Unlimited. When the Aero News Network started 20 years ago, it was our plan to be the best there is in bringing you all the news combined with commentary and opinions about our Aeroverse. We feel proud of what we've done, but the past is only the foundation for building an even brighter future. We are now in our sixth year of video productions through the programming that we call Airborne Unlimited. It's widely known for its daily programming, but this programming is only the tip of the iceberg of what Airborne Unlimited is doing, and even more importantly, will be doing. A record number of over 3,000 video productions is also just a starting point. 
Airborne Unlimited will be continuing to expand its new product innovation programming and will continue bringing you our Aero Minute viewings. But in the future, we'll be bringing you new subject coverage in the new Airborne Unlimited format. There is so much exciting news in specific realms within our Aeroverse that Airborne Unlimited is working towards starting programming for specific areas of interest while continuing our programming that covers general aerospace news. This means our current five Airborne Unlimited programs per week is going to expand substantially. Our Airborne Unlimited partners will be given the opportunity to work with our professional staff to be part of online video programming that relates to their specific part of the vast Aeroverse. Airborne Unlimited is overflowing with unresolved opportunities, and we welcome our partners to join us as we bring these opportunities to fruition. After these messages, Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones gets a new business tool. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. <music> Dallas Cowboys owner, president, and general manager Jerry Jones has chosen a new H-145 corporate helicopter as his go-to business transportation tool. Jones said, quote, this helicopter will save us valuable time and allow members of our organization to work and live more efficiently. The FAA has approved an STC for the installation of low-presti boom beam lights on Gulfstream large cabin aircraft. This technology is called high intensity discharge and greatly extends visual range, adding safety to your aircraft according to the company. The NTSB has released a preliminary report regarding the Draken International T-4 Skyhawk that went down in August during a training mission at Nellis Air Force Base. It's reported the engine failed while approaching to land and the pilot ejected over an unpopulated area. According to an industry report, in-flight Wi-Fi connectivity is moving from a nice-to-have feature to an essential requirement. The report indicated a key player has determined that the connected aircraft market will be worth $2.2 billion in 2016. Following an airplane crash at Greenwood Municipal Airport in Indiana in 2014, bystanders successfully rescued one of the two pilots aboard the aircraft. Now one of the rescuers has filed a suit against the estate of the deceased pilot and the surviving pilot for injuries received during the rescue. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. As part of its ongoing investigation of an August 27, 2016 uncontained engine failure on Southwest Airlines Flight 3472, the National Transportation Safety Board issued an investigative update earlier this week. The preliminary report indicates that the left engine inlet separated from the engine during the flight, debris from the engine inlet damaged the airplane fuselage, wing, and empennage. A 5-inch by 16-inch hole was found in the left fuselage just above the left wing. No fan blade or inlet material was found in the hole, and the passenger interior compartment was not penetrated. Initial findings from the engine examination include that one fan blade separated from the fan disc. The fracture surface of the missing blade showed curving crack arrest lines consistent with fatigue crack growth. Future work will include 3D measurements of the contact areas of all the blades, a non-destructive examination of the blade surfaces for cracks, and a review of the engine maintenance records. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.